Hey everyone, welcome back. Crosstown Gamer here, and we're going to be continuing our uh, conquest of Cuba with Cuba Libre. Um, this, if you are wanting to catch up um, or get familiar with where we're at in the playthrough, please go ahead and watch through my prior video or videos. Um, otherwise, if you don't really care about continuity or anything and you want to just jump right in, this is a fine place to start. So, we are going to continue playing the next card that came out is General Strike, and then the one on deck is going to be Sinatra. So if we recall, uh, we are eligible as well as the government faction here, and then the Directorio and Syndicate are non-eligible at this point in time. So uh, what does the government want to do? Most of the time they want to play the event, uh, unless there's any special instructions. So if we look on the non-player faction sheet, for the government, we just take a look. I know there's a there's actually a little halo around the icon on the initiative track if there is one, but sometimes I find it's hard to see. So I like to just double check to make sure we're not missing it here. I don't see general strike here, and it doesn't look like there's a um, halo around the icon. So we are going to do general strike. So general strike says set a city to active support and activate all guerrillas there then open any one closed casino. So there are three cities in the game. We've got Havana, that's already at active support. Um, we have Camagüey, not at active support, so this is a candidate for the card. And then the last one is Santiago de Cuba. It's at neutral currently, so definitely uh, an active candidate for this. And it has gorillas there, but they are already active, so that part would not be in effect. No gorillas in Camagüey, so don't have to worry about that. The bots want to do the event in the city that has the most removal or addition of their own pieces. And if there's a tie, then um, most change in total support. Um, and so we can see that for Santiago de Cuba, it was at neutral, whereas Camagüey is already at passive support. So this would have the greatest change in total support. So they're going to set that city to active support. So if we grab a support marker and do this, then they're going to activate any gorillas there, which they already have all the gorillas active. And lastly, they're going to open any one closed casino. There aren't any closed casinos on the map, so this would have no effect anyway. The government's win condition is based on their support. So we're multiplying this one in the city's population by the times two for active support and adding two to their support. So we are going to do a one, two. For those that have a good, what's the word I'm looking for? They're able to see things that others might not. I did change the opposition plus bases marker from eight down to six because I think the directorio or someone else had in the last video changed one of these spaces from active support to neutral or something like that in any way in any case i only counted up uh opposition plus bases at six so we're a little bit farther behind than i would have liked but them's the breaks so uh we did the event for the government that's concluded now and we are up we can do a special activity or we can pass and see if we can get in on this next card, which is Sinatra. Unfortunately, since the Syndicate and the Directorio are going to be on deck, uh, I think this event will get played. And there's nothing we can really do about it. So passing isn't going to be super beneficial to us. So instead, I think we should take an Operation Plus Special Activity. One of the things we would like to do is protect this base. It's kind of under fire from all these government troops. Um, I know we want to kind of spread our influence as well down here, but I worry that if we lose our foothold on the West, uh, that's going to kind of make it so that event we took at the beginning was pointless, but also uh, we want to be where the action is so that we're always primed to strike. So I think if we look at what we're able to do, we can rally and place um, troops. Unfortunately, we can't place in the province that we're looking at here because that has 
passive support and we need things without support. So that's going to be kind of crappy. Um, let's look at our options here. We can rally in any provinces or cities without support. So the closest thing we could do is get into Matanzas and then maybe march in or do something. Um, so that might be a good candidate for a place to rally. If we were going to rally, we would also want to um, rally in Sierra Maestra because there's a base there, so we get more troops on the board. Um, and we could even, or, sorry, or we could even place another base there, um, but that would kind of leave it unprotected. We can march. Um, I don't know if we want to march because while we could take control of Oriente, that would leave Sierra Maestra Prime for the pickings for someone else, and we, we've got a good foothold there. We just don't have enough pieces on the map, so I'm thinking rally is going to be what we want to do. Attacking is going to be pointless, because if we attack in Santiago de Cuba, the only other place that we're in that has opposition, um, we would roll a die, and we would need to roll basically a one to be able to do anything there. And lastly, we can terror to try and get... Uh, these places to shift support toward opposition. The only place we have underground guerrillas, though, is in Sierra Maestra, and it's already at active opposition. So we can't we can't uh, shift any support in Santiago de Cuba because this guerrilla is active; it's not underground. So I think rally is the best option here. Then let's take our markers so we know where we're going. I think we should rally in Sierra Maestra. Um, not sure if it's going to be worthwhile to... Oh, we can't do that anyway because it's active support. The only other spaces we could rally into are Camagüey and Matanzas. And I think it's worthwhile to at least establish a presence elsewhere on the map, so it might be good to rally in Camagüey. It'll cost us a resource, and, but we only get one um, gorilla there. And then uh, Matanzas. So again, we'd like to rally there, but we can't. So that'll be three spaces. And then let's look at our special activities to see what we can do. So we rallied, we can potentially infiltrate. So we can lead troops or police to defect um, in a space without support with or next to an underground gorilla. We can remove or replace one cube there, police first, and so on. So Unfortunately, we, we can only do this in places... Ah, oh, man, this is terrible. So, um, we can only do this in places without support. And it needs to be with or next to an under, underground gorilla. So, um, we only have underground gorillas here. Even if we waited until after we did the special activity to do that, there aren't going to be any places where we're going to have underground um, gorillas that we can affect the police at all. There aren't any adjacent squares with police. So, unfortunately, that's kind of crappy, but we're at the beginning of the game. This is all we can really do that's effective, so let's, let's give it a whirl. So it'll cost one resource per space. Let's adjust that first so I don't forget. Um, so we're doing it in three, three spots, so this will go down to seven. Then, we get to place uh, one gorilla or two with a, replace two with a base. But if there's a base there, which there is, then we get twice the population plus twice the bases. So the population is one, so that's two so far. And then twice the bases is another two. So we get to put four underground gorillas in Sierra Maestra. So that's good. We'll remove this to know that we did it. We only get one gorilla here. And we only get one gorilla up here. So hopefully that's enough of a stranglehold on the situation. Next, uh, that was this card. So we shift eligibility. And we will play Sinatra and see what else comes up. Next card is Fangio. Fangio? Not sure. Again, <laughs> the pronunciation is not going to be my strong suit. I'm, I speak more German than I do Spanish, so... Um, 
All right. So for Sinatra here, the first eligible faction is going to be the Syndicate, and they are eligible. So let's just double check to make sure they don't have any special instructions. This isn't the right sheet. Where's their sheet? Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay. And nope, I don't see any sort of Sinatra special instructions like Fangio does, but they're going to be ineligible at that point. So they are going to play this. The Syndicate and Government both play the shaded version. So they will place an open casino in Havana regardless of stacking. So even if there was two casinos already open there, they would do that. So they're going to take a casino, they're going to open it, and they're going to put it, plop it down in Havana. That's going to shift their... Did I already shift the support for their... I think I did. I can double check that later. Um, that's going to shift their victory marker, which is hidden down here um, under the directorios up by one because they have a new open casino so they're one step closer they only need eight points to win so they're halfway there then uh, they're going to place one cash with police there we haven't really gone over cash but it's a, a way that the bots can get extra resources um, or players can get extra resources or do some kind of shenanigans with extra moves um, so they're going to place it with a police so Cash goes on the police there. Hopefully we can steal that cash. That'd be great. So that was the event. We'll shift the eligibility. And Directorio is up next. The event's already been played, so they are going to do an operation plus special activity. Let's look at their flowchart. If I could open it. Oops, I just... Made a mess of the our bases. Okay, so they can't play the event. Can they terror or in an active space or assassinate a government base? Well, again, no um, government bases are there. So now we're just going to look if they can terror in an active space. Active meaning active opposition or active support. So, Directorio, what are the requirements for terror? any space with underground gorillas. So the only spaces where they have underground gorillas do not have active anything. It's Oriente and Camagüey. Um, up here, their gorillas are above ground, so unfortunately for them, they can't do that. So it's a no. Then, are there six plus gorillas available? Or Rally would place a base. So Rally, neutral or passive provinces and cities. So... Uh, would there would they be able to place a base? Yeah, they would in Camagüey because they do have um, uh, two underground gorillas there or two gorillas there. It doesn't have to be underground, and it's just a passive space. So it looks like that is a yes. Um, they do have looks like ten available gorillas too. So um, let's get this closer. They will rally then. They're going to rally in neutral or passive spaces. First, gorillas to underground in all spaces with active directorial gorillas. So they would love to put their gorillas underground in Havana, but unfortunately for them, this is an active support space, and so that means they can't rally there. Otherwise, uh, they want to rally in a space with a directorial base. There aren't any of those on the map and a cube, so negative there. Then next, they want to place bases where there are at least three DR gorillas and room. Okay, so, uh, yeah, well, so that means Rally's not going to place a base. So um, they aren't going to place a base there because they're kind of in a similar situation to where we were, where we could have placed a base in Sierra Maestra, but it would have left it vulnerable. So they're just going to place gorillas at bases, which don't exist, other DR gorillas, and then one random space. So in neutral or passive spaces, they're going to place where there are already active, or there are already Directorio gorillas. So those two places. And that's all that there are for that. There aren't any bases, as we said. Um, so then one random space. And just like we did it in the last video, we're going to roll this yellow and this green die. 
we got two fours come up here. Four and a four is Santiago de Cuba. They can't go there because that's an active support. So we just continue along. So Oriente, they're going to try in Oriente. That's already a spot. So they're going to move up to Havana City. They can't do it there. La Habana Province is passive, which they can do. So they will place La Habana Province is here. They will place one of their guerrillas there. So uh, they that will cost them um, one resource per space selected, and they're going to just be able to place one guerrilla in each of those spots. So they get one in Camagüey, one in Oriente, one in La Habana. We'll take these, and we will adjust the resources. Three. One, two, three. And then they will try to do a special activity. So for rally, they're going to go to subvert. So in a DR controlled province, they have two of those so far. Um, just want to make sure. Oh, PS, um, we just wanted to adjust. When we rallied in Matanzas, we do get a control marker. So I wanted to make sure that that's there. So directorios still do control those two spaces and none of the other ones. So if July 26 is at victory, which they are not, remove the most opposition possible. So that's, that's a negative on the uh, first bullet point. Second bullet point is otherwise remove the most support. And if neither applies at highest population, A at neutral. So... They're going to try to do it. The highest population that they have is Oriente. And what does Subvert do? Add the selected province's um, population to the directory of resources and set the space to neutral. So that's what they'll do. They, it's already neutral, so that's good. And they will add two to their resources. So they go back up to four. Great. So that was their special activity. We'll adjust. And sometimes we won't always play at the same time as the government faction. When people pass, then ten things tend to start um, stacking up. So that was Sinatra. Now we will play... Oh, one last thing. Oh, no. Oh, we haven't done it yet. Okay. Um, the, the government faction is eligible. And remember, they have this momentum card up here. So until the propaganda round... Their airstrike removes two pieces allowed, or, and is allowed even if they're embargoed. Well, they're not embargoed, but their airstrike's going to remove two pieces. Just one thing to note on the government's non-player faction, they will play the event unless um, the second their second eligible and the player is a syndicate player, which is not true, or there's a momentum in effect, or the event's ineffective. So there is a momentum in effect, so instead they're going to do a... Uh, they're not going to play the event. So we'll just take that into consideration. So we'll look at Fangio. And we are up first for this. So we can shift the city one level toward active opposition. Or two levels if there's a July 26th piece there. So, gosh, you know, you, I think this game is kind of all about timing. You don't want to take too many events because you're missing out on all these special activities and... Um, operations but the issue is like we could shift this two spaces toward um opposition because we have a piece there that would be good because it would be um at passive opposition which would take away from the government's total support and increase our foothold our opposition plus basis and then we would be able to rally there and actually get some some gorillas. Um, let's look at what the next card is and make a decision from there. Yeah, no. So, yeah, we. I mean, we could pass and then place a base and a gorilla in any city. So we could do it in Havana or we can do it in Camagüey, wherever. 
Um, that's not as appealing to me. So let's let's think about this. So if we didn't take the event, if we did an operation with special activity, um, then the government player would potentially. Um, oh, they're going to do a. They're not going to do the event anyway. They have special instructions, but they have a momentum in play. So let me just pause to think about this for a bit. Okay, I've given it a little thought, and I was reading the text of the card again. It says, shift a city one level toward active opposition, so we would not be able to do it for La Habana anyway. And I think the government's going to go next, and they're going to do uh, special activity and uh, operations, and I think they're going to take out our base no matter what we do, even if we were to march the guy from Matanzas in. So I think this space is a little bit too hotly contested at the moment. I'm not sure that, yeah, I mean, I think it's just going to be kind of the bone zone here. So um, we might just want to rally again, try to establish more uh, pieces on the map, because we still have quite a few there. Um, and then hopefully we can get some bases a little bit um, farther toward the west, just so we have a good spot to rally um, across the board. So I think that's what we're going to do. So we will do this. And um, let's see. I'm sure I adjusted my resources. Yes, I did last time. So we definitely want to go back in Matanzas. Um, we're trying to get more troops there. And it would be great to do it in Camagüey. And then the only other place that um, does not have... Oh, we could do it anywhere without support. So we could do it in Los Villas, but I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Mm. Yeah, because they could assault... They could assault there. Or sweep, I guess. They, they need... Remove one active gorilla. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, we, we are going to potentially actually want to march in there and save our... Hmm. Let me think some more. Sorry. Okay, sorry about that. I took the markers off. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to try to march in there. Then... Hopefully, at some point, we'll get to go again before too much changes. They're not going to be able to assault us because our gorilla is going to be underground. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, well, if the if the gorilla, if the the moving gorillas plus cubes there exceeds three, activate the gorillas. Gosh. Yes, okay. So, that would activate them. Yeah, we are going to rally after all. I know, I keep going back and forth, I'm sorry. So, we're going to rally here, we're going to rally here, and we're going to rally... Now the question is, do we want to actually go in Sierra Maestra? I think we do, because then if we rally again at a future point, and we don't have any available forces here, we can take them from the map and put them on. So there's no real harm in us uh, doing this, it'll just cost an extra resource, but we'll get four guys back on the map. So that'll, again, be three resources. A one, two, three. And then we are going to put four gorillas in Sierra Maestra. We're going to put one in Camagüey. And we're going to put one more in Matanzas. Okay. Then for infiltrate, again, we can't really do this right now, so... Um, Ooh, so actually we're just doing an op with no special activity. It's not going to matter because um, the government's not going to take the event anyway. Um, and they always do a special activity uh, with their events. So unfortunately that's not going to make a big difference. But that's where we're going to go instead. Then the government player is going to go. And so they're not going to do this. Instead, we're going to look at their flowchart. Does government base or city lack control? No. Um, 
is the 26th July or Directorio at an economic center underground or that they exceed cubes? Well, no one's in the economic centers right now. We are going to want to get in there at some point um, so that we can sabotage those. In fact, this is a prime location for sabotaging that economic center. Maybe that's what we should have done. It doesn't matter now. Um, so that way the government gets fewer resources in the propaganda rounds. Either way, no. Um, would it assault in a special activity add government control, or remove bases or three-plus guerrillas. So they already have government control in here. In in La Havana, they would not get to remove three-plus guerrillas. So that's not going to satisfy that condition. They similarly would not be able to remove three-plus guerrillas here. And they can't remove a base because uh, one sec. Yep, everything's going to hell in a handbasket here. They are going to assault here because they will be able to remove my base. <laughs> and then they're going to airstrike, and they have that momentum card, so it's going to be even better for them. So uh, they're going to. So this is a yes. They're going to assault. They're going to add the special activity before the assault, so they're going to airstrike. They're going to remove a base or close a casino. Then they're going to remove um, gorilla where there's cubes. And then uh, lastly, they're going to remove the enemy's last gorilla from a space. Within those, they're going to make these various priorities. So, are they able to remove a base or close a casino? And they have, it says max one, but their momentum gives them two. So, the answer is yes, they're going to be able to remove this base here. So they will airstrike here, remove a piece, and uh, they're going to remove two pieces from one spot. So they really wanted that to happen, and then they just get to remove a gorilla. Oh, they can close a casino. I don't know why I didn't see that. So that's but the priority here, I think it's sequential. So remove base or close casino. They remove the base. I think we go on to the next one. Then they're going to remove a gorilla where there's a cube. And it doesn't have to be active because airstrike is just remove a piece. Oh, active gorilla or base. Okay, so yeah, then they are going to close that casino there as well. And that might be a rules goof, but I think that's what they're doing. So they're closing that casino, which will cause this to go back down. And they removed our base, so our opposition plus bases is even further in the hole there. And, man, brutal. They So they did that, and that, that's not even the assault. Um, they're going to try to assault. That was their special activity. Um, they're going to add this before. Then they're going to assault. So this is false. They're going to remove, you know, I think they might actually only close active or close casinos if the syndicate players at victory like this. Let me check. Okay, I reopened the casino because um, the government player is only going to close casinos if the syndicate player is at victory. So I moved their marker back as well. Then... Uh, they can't eliminate that directorio gorilla because it's not active. So, there you have it. I'm sorry that uh, the flowchart there led me astray, but uh, we're back on track. So, they're going to continue with their assault. They're not going to do this one. They're going to remove the most 26 July or DR bases. So, they actually can't um, do that because there are no 26 July or DR bases that would qualify for assault. Then they're going to take cash, and then they're going to remove the most gorillas that they're able to do. So let's just verify that for assault, they can remove active gorillas, bases, each troop, um, take any cash removed. So they are going to take this cash. No, they already have cash there. 
So, taking cash, not an option. They already have the cash. Then they're going to remove the most gorillas available. Um, 26 July 1st, then DR. The only active spaces, so for a maximum of nine resources, they are going to do this in... Um, there's there's two places with the ability to remove pieces. There's Santiago de Cuba, and then there's Havana. So looks like they're going to assault in both these places. It's a city there and here. And the way it works is they get to remove one active guerrilla for, or base for each of the troops cubes. So the troops, remember, are the dark uh, blue cubes. And then if it's a mountain piece, or a mountain hex uh, or region like Las Vias, it would actually be double, uh, two. You need tr two troops to do one guerrilla. But in this case, we are in a city, so it doesn't matter. So this guy gets eliminated. He'll go back to available. And that will cost two resources to the government because they are at firm and then another two for Havana. So they're going to go down one, two, three, four resources and they're going to eliminate, they have two troops cubes here and they're eliminating two gorillas here. So uh, there you have it. That was their um, airstrike and then assault. So it's a bummer that we, we lost the base there, but we still have a good foothold in Matanzas, and we should be able to get some, you know, gorillas online there soon enough. Um, we might be able to get a base there. Um, and then this is a hotly contested region as well. So I think since we are at the 30 minutes again, uh, then I think we are going to stop here, but I'm going to move these over back to eligible. We're going to move those to ineligible. Then Yano is going to come out to play. And the next card that's going to come up is Map. And so we've got some special instructions there. But again, I think um, they're going to play a special event or uh, operations plus special activity instead because of their momentum card. Um, but here we have Syndicate up first and then Directorio is going to be able to act on this event here. And uh, let me just double check um, off camera to make sure that all of our victory conditions are still accurate. Uh, if something has changed, then I will be sure to fix that in the upcoming video. Um, and thanks for bearing with me. I know it was kind of a, a rocky end to the video with me checking the rules so many dang times, but um, hopefully that happens more and more infrequently in the future. So thanks again for joining me as we continue our conquest of all the coin games, but specifically with Cuba Libre this time. Uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye.